Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. I'm still here, and somehow I still have my buddy Madrax with me. I'm somehow still here as well. How you doing, everyone? All right. Well, why don't you let the uh, the folks watching at home know what we just did in the last episode, as I start going through these dungeons. All right. Green is playing Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, the dark horse of the Zelda family. But which you can plainly see right here. It's the second Legend of Zelda game, and he had just cleared the first dungeon, or palace as they're known in these games. His goal is to complete all, was it seven palaces? I believe so, seven palaces and then the Great Palace. All seven palaces, plus the Great Palace, in order to acquire the Triforce of Courage so that he may awaken the Princess Zelda from a cursed sleep. Now, while we were in that last palace, we picked up a magic candle, which is going to let us go into some of these caves and dungeons and see what we're doing. Ah, yes, I do believe there's a trophy you need to find. <laughs> and first, we got to get rid of all these Octorok projectiles. I'm going to defeat those Moldorms. <laughs> there we go. There's our first cave. Uh oh. And peace. if I didn't have. If I didn't have the uh, candle, this would just be solid black. You guys are jerks. Gotcha. Now this is very important, Green. Link cannot swim in lava, so don't touch the lava. Green, what did I, I just taken your tell advice. <laughs> I should have paid attention. Should have been listening. Come on. Made me look bad. Booga, booga, booga. That case is going to drive you batty. If anybody's going to get me off my my rocker, it's going to be this Octorok over here. Yes, yeah, the long-standing Zelda mainstay of Octoroks. <laughs> you know, I should have turned on our shield. Oh, and there's Agoria. And this is the jerk that stole the... What are they called? The statue? They call it a trophy. It might have just been a statue, or it looks like some sort of angel, so it's probably for some Hylian church or whatever, but, you know. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Why did you have to respawn? Well, the minor enemies always respawn, no matter how good they are at killing you. They're jerks. Each one of them is a jerk. Now, you mentioned there's a cave uh, down here, Ah, yes, correct? there is. That cave. Not plot important. And this also would have been solid black mm -hmm. on us, right? All caves would have been. That's why you need the candle. Only that first cave is fairly easy to get through because it has one enemy and no pits. This one's not plot important or anything like that, but it's got a, something very useful in it. We got ourselves a magic bottle, so we get one more unit of magic. Meaning we'll be able to cast more spells now. Even though right now we just have the one. But that's going to change pretty soon, oh, isn't it? Oh yes, I do believe that's what that trophy was needed for. <laughs> Alright, do you happen to know if there's anything hidden out this way? It's possible, but I don't remember that specifically, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, that's okay. If you know that I'm missing something, you just, you just chime in. Yes, I could use your help. Wow, 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 wow. So somewhere around here is a woman that wanted that uh, that trophy. I think that house. Is she gonna come out of the yeah, house? Yeah, that's her. I think. You saved the trophy. Come see my uncle. Sure, your uncle. <laughs> we all know you are keeping Grandpa down in the dungeon. So he keeps going on and on about his magic spells. Grandpa's a bit of a weirdo, you see. <laughs> there he is. With this, you can jump very high. Another useful spell in the game, the jump spell. Yeah, no kidding, man. There it is right there. We, we actually, we need it to get through the next dungeon, don't we? You need it, you, yeah, you need yeah, it to get the cave, through the right? cave that's to the south. <laughs> I think partway through, there's and a large uh, 
platform, or not platform, like a little cliffside that you need to jump up to, and you need the jump spell mm -hmm. for it. And generally, it's just a good spell to have. Oh, yeah. Because it makes platforming a lot easier. That combined with shield makes, uh, <laughs> makes a lot of fights much easier. <laughs> All right, now we can see what we were doing. We were in here before. In uh, our very first episode, killing some of these Octorox for XP. Notice they took two hits back then. Mm -hmm. Nope, Goria. <laughs> they haven't made too many appearances in recent Zelda games. I always miss them. <laughs> Actually, we're about to come across another enemy, aren't we? Not these beagles. <laughs> Oh, look, it's you again. You took out your buddy in the other cave. What, what thinks you're going to do any better? Actually, you know what? They they tend to do pretty good anyway. Not quite as bad so, as uh, Dark Nuts. No. Nah. But still, they, they give me a bit of trouble. No, oh, but I think I know which enemy you're talking about. The Red Keys. Yes. Which I was going to ask you about, if they have a special name or anything. Uh, I don't believe so. It's just a weird keys that turns into a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> Can we block his I wouldn't try it. Effect? Probably not without Reflect or one of the better spells. It seems like one of those spells. And there was where you needed the jump spell for. Yep, this uh, cliff face right over here. And the jump spell will stay with us as long as we stay on yeah, the screen, Yeah, just like correct? S.H.I.E.L.D. Just like most of the magic that's not like a one-off. Now, we've made it out of the cave, but I've gotten, you know, beat up for mm -hmm. it. But if we go over here into this forest, there's a fairy waiting hey, for fairy. us. If I can get it. She's like, no, there we no. Go. Navi, you're here to help. Now, the f it's faster to go around the swamp. That's what that dark green is. Yes, it's uh, swamp terrain slows your movement. But isn't there a goodie hiding in there that uh, we... Quite a few goodies, grab? actually. And there's another one of those boulders. Now, these, these cat-looking things here jumping around at us. I'm sure they have a name, but <laughs> they're not tectites. We encounter those later. <laughs> All right. I was wondering if they were those those cat-headed creatures from the uh, the other Zelda games. Like in the first one, it just kind of looks like a cat head, and you can I think you can use the flute. Oh no, they're it. not Pole's voices. <laughs> That's the name. Pole's voices are have very 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 uh, unique appearances. Oh, here we go. So look, there's a little link sitting right there, and that's a one-up. Their only appearance in a Zelda game, because Zelda's not known for having one-ups. <laughs> no, because it's not really that kind of game. But this one is. Uh, unfortunately, though, the one-ups don't stick around with us. Once we use them, they're they're done. Yep. So it's not like once I've lose, lost all my lives, we'll start again with four instead of three. Nope. And I don't believe it respawns until you completely exit out of the game, too. Hmm. Whew. All right, now, if I remember correctly, there's something up in the woods here. Should we go looking for it, or should we save that for later? I think you can save it for later, because I don't think he can help you yet. Okay. I think. Oh, and while we're on it, uh, should we go straight to the second palace, or should we try to tackle Death Mountain? I'm not sure you can do Death Mountain yet. I'm almost certain you need something from the second palace, although possibly not. I forget what item you, you get in the second palace, actually. But I, I well, do think you case. do need to do the second palace first. Well, if that's the case, let's do the palace first. Assuming I don't get killed on my way there. And then we'll try to tackle Death Mountain. Oh, hello. At the very least, you want the experience and everything you get from the second palace before attempting Death Mountain. It is one of the two hardest spots of the game. Alright, 
now what do we got in here is it a um is it a bag of experience yes. there it is and we will take that getting closer to another level <laughs> Well, we're going to make a trek back to the third town and pick up what we need in there. And then we'll go tackle the palace. Which, unsurprisingly, is somewhere in that gigantic swamp. Which, by mm. the way, is known as Mido Swamp. That name might sound familiar to uh, Zelda fans. Oh. Watch out for okay. the cheap screen. Zombie cheap cheeps. Skeletal cheap cheeps, actually. Alright, well, that looks conspicuous. But before we go there, let's go back to the, the town. And this is the water town of Sari. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it helps. That is a name I helps remember. Helps her grow. Eyes of Eyes Ganon of Ganon. are everywhere. Be careful. Yes, this town starts a unfortunate trend of if sometimes if you talk to a random person, they will turn into a keese because surprise, they work for Ganon. <laughs> yep. Let's see. Maybe one of these triplets of Belleville. Hello, young Hello, fellow. Young, young. Bye. Yep. Yep. You're a keese. All right, let me go get healed. Yes, don't talk to random villagers until you've healed. Nothing in there. Or is or there? Is there? Nope, not gonna talk to you. Not gonna talk. Well, we'll talk to you eventually. <laughs> oh, hello. He's sleeping. Well, we're gonna let him be then. You. Come here, you. Yes, please help. I am very badly damaged. <laughs> there we go. Let's see the magic lady while we're here. Now, the people in purple usually don't have much to say, do they? No, I, I think anyone with a slightly unique appearance will have something to say. Like, the... the... The large lady that comes by every so often. I think she has something to say. The old ladies in this town never have something to say, so... <laughs> dun dun dun. Only town folk may cross this river. Now we're not town folk, so I guess we're not crossing the river. Oh, you're the healing lady. We don't need to talk to you. In the door of oh, swamp, find a handy glove. That's the glove well, that you you get from the swamp. I forget what that's used for, but I'm almost certain it's needed somehow in Death Mountain. Ah, and what do you need? I I lost my mirror. Well, I happen to know where her mirror is, so we should probably go pick it up now. That's now, are you going to get hints at any point where her mirror is? Or is it just something we should look for? I think it's for? something you look for, <laughs> but... Oop. I found a mirror. Under the table. Because the spell you get here is not required to, pos to progress. But that being said, it's one of the most important spells in the game, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, acquire Oh! You found my mirror! Follow me. Uncle Grandpa will be ever so grateful to see someone down in the, uh, the fireplace. Use this magic to restore your life! Do, 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 do. There we go, we have the life spell. Uh, that is also, these, these are like three of your, like, most important spells. Yeah, pretty right much, here. that's the three you're gonna use the most. Like, once you get Reflect, you'll get use out of that, too, but... Mm -hmm. But besides that, you, you use those. <laughs> well, 
Here's hoping I don't have to use them too much. Here's hoping. Hmm. Well, now we're going to go to this conspicuous little bit of forest. Oh, hey, look. It's experience. More annoying cats. Be time for more men. More men in cat suits. <laughs> Timing is just awful. Uh oh, beetles and bubbles. <laughs> well, the real enemy here will be any breaks in the bridge. Thankfully, it looks like this is one of the better built bridges in uh, Hyrule. <laughs> now that looks conspicuous, too. This is a fairy. And we'll take health whenever we need to get it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Swamp enemies. The Octoroks aren't bad at all. No, no, they're not too tough, and they give pretty decent EXP, all things considered. Honestly, the 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 weak swamp encounters are some of the best early XP points in the game. <laughs> yeah, I can see why. Although those birds are annoying. They only show up, thankfully, in the tough monster encounters. So as long as you can avoid them, you're good. <laughs> we are very close to a level, so I think I will take the time to kill all the Octoroks in this section. And I'm sure we'll get into another fight or two before we make it to the palace. Speaking of... And there are, should be three more Octoroks, so let's kill them and gain our level. Just watch out for the moving one. Yeah, he, he gets me sometimes. There we go. Alright, and what goes up? Magic. So what was life? Life cost 60. Still cost 60, but shield has gone down quite a bit. Which is very useful, since you use that spell a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, especially me. Yeah, life, life goes down a little bit, but it never goes down that much because it's so useful a spell. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. All right. Now, is this one of the statues we can smash? I believe they start here because now you have tons of magic. <laughs> there we go. So we essentially get to start this palace with full health and full magic. Yep. Palace number two. Alright, Madrix, should I go left, right, or down? Well, this palace, it's slightly more complex than uh, the first palace. But it's not one of those that you need to, like, memorize. The, the biggest thing to watch out for are these pillars that spit the fire. And the, sl the well, we call them slimes. I guess we can call them choo-choos since that's what they are. You just gotta watch for the coloration of the drops. Yeah, we... Oh, there's my buddy, Stauffles. Blue Stauffles. This one has... They have a jump attack. Hmm. Yeah, this one's got some tech. Worth a bit more XP, but I though. dice. I'm still more than happy to fight them. More than a Dark Knight, at least. <laughs> ah. They're not quite Medusa heads, but... Yes, yeah, so you'll start just as annoying here. They're not generally worth uh, fighting either. They don't give a lot of XP, and at this point in the game, at least, they do. They 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 have a decent amount of health. Not as much as the bubble skulls, but quite a bit. All right. So at this point, I couldn't take them out with no, one hit. No. All right. So we're just going to try to avoid them. Their patterns aren't too tough. You just need to be good at the game, unlike me. Okay, so, you know, second floor. Oh, oh I remember hi. those. <laughs> they're a bit more annoying than Octoroks, but they're not too bad, and they're worth good XP. Well, that was pretty easy to take out, especially since they kind of get stunned after the first yeah. hit. <laughs> they only take like three hits anyway. <laughs> 
And as we power her up, that will of course go. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, speaking of bubbles. Ah. Yeah, watch, always watch the blue slimes. Before they jump, they always do this little shake animation. Ooh, I should keep my eyes open for that, man. What are you going to do down here, buddy? You can't jump. Of course, then he starts to jump. And we'll be learning how to do jump attacks like that. Yes. Uh, fairly oh, soon. There's that key you needed. Well, let's walk back the way we came. We'll check the right side. And then maybe we'll go back up and use that door. I believe the right side was just the snake, wasn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, it was. We already did that. So I'm, I'm glad I have you around. <laughs> May I forget if the bottom route is where you have to go, or if you want to go uh, to open that door? Because of course there's a treasure to find, and then the boss to beat. That's right. Boss being a much more difficult version of Horsehead. <laughs> Sometimes I like to call him Knight Gleok. <laughs> Knight Gleok, huh? Ah, dang it. Yeah, totally not worth the time to kill. Yeah, later in the game you'll be able to kill them in a couple hits, but for the moment... Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> That's great. Come on, you. <laughs> I don't think it's... Uh... Uh, I see a yeah. key. Now that's probably going to start breaking on us. Once no, we... I don't know. Oh, no, it's, uh, ah. That's not breaking uh, blocks, but yeah. I needed the jump spell, didn't I? I think you can make that without the jump spell, but... Uh... Hey, we got it. Might as well use it. Yeah, this is a dangerous area. Oh, boy. Oh, that's all right. We'll wait for him. We're in no rush. Dang it. Dang. Okay. Clearly not going to make it go in that way with the jump spell on. Come here, you. You too. Oh, no. Alright. Now, let's see. Can I make this jump? Yes! Can I make this jump? Ha! Yes. Now, here comes the real As question. As I always say, the most Was important it worth it? rule in, Legend in Zelda 2 is to not die. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. Dark not. You. Hello, my enemy. Whew. Oh, you. Ah. Oh, I should have healed first. Oh, well. Live and learn, right? Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Whew. Get out of here, Bubble. Nobody wants you. <laughs> Aha! Ah. I knew we would eventually find some of those dragon statues. I don't know, this still might take too long to make it really worthwhile. Well, might as well go for it while you got them. I think your attack's at three? So it'll take yes, a sir. bit, but not too bad. Not like when we were trying to do it with one. Oh, even even when your attack's at eight, it, it takes like a good ten hits still. <laughs> That's a good chunk of XP. Oh. And of course. Although snake snakes not work are pretty good XP. Hmm. We seem to have come to an impasse. Mm 
<laughs> that was silly. <laughs> but you know what? It worked. And behind door number two. Another screen! Mm. Oh, I know what we have to do here. Run! <laughs> We have to run. Ah, oh, that's what the gloves are for. They let you break blocks. Dang it. Speaking of, you might want to heal. I'm almost certain a Dark Knight's coming up. I know a Dark Knight's coming up because I'm low on health. That's how it works. A red Dark Knight, no less. Wonderful. Let's get him away from the slime generator. I don't know if they're faster or not, but I think they are. But the big thing about Red Dark Nuts is that they have more health. <laughs> well, I do not. But we have lives. Shield yourself. And I'm also going to put the shield up. Yeah, watch his, watch his wind-ups. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what we need. We need a slime. You go away. Oof. Oof. All right, we did it. Get away from that generator. <laughs> yeah, good point. Oh. Dang it. Oh, and of course you come through the wall. You don't have any keys anyway. <laughs> well, let's try to kill him. Because if I can still kill him and keep this life... He shouldn't come back. Dang. What the heck is going on here? I'm almost positive that's, uh... The yeah. glove? Yeah, that's the glove. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Ooh, I will take that, thank you. make it across. And Ganon's uh, back. And Ganon's back. Well, our lives have been reset to three, and look where we are. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a short trip back to where we want to go. And you know what? If this gets to be too long, I can always edit these little parts out. <laughs> Let's get back to the dungeon. Well, the the real problem, though, is you can see our XP has been reset. Yeah, that's the one big downside to uh, losing all your lives in Zelda 2. You keep all the, your items and whatnot, and I believe the doors you unlocked in the dungeon remain unlocked. But I would sure hope so. Might as well use it if we yep. got it. Now, I just gotta get past the bats. Hey! Oh, ho. Wow! That worked out pretty good. We don't really want to drag them out. No. no. Uh oh. This isn't too bad because I can still shoot my sword with power. Yeah, those birds are a pain in the butt and not worth it. <laughs> no, not at nope. all. 
This looks interesting. Hmm. Annoying is the word I've <laughs> used. Or we could sit here and kill eight, 80 Octoroks. <laughs> like, hello audience, today we're go you're going to be watching me kill Octoroks forever! <laughs> Grinding Octoroks for fun and profit. <laughs> uh oh, birds. <laughs> and they're only worth like two Yeah, XP. they're not worth it at all. <laughs> they're just aggravating. There you. Sneak up on me. Well, we've almost made it to the palace. And now have and made it to the palace. <laughs> and we can still get our potion. Now, eventually we're going to reach a point where these might actually gen uh, spontaneously generate life when we attack them. Yeah, some of the later statues will occasionally generate a dark knot instead of a potion. Okay, well, let's go down to the third floor. Yes, I don't believe we... We didn't check this out last time. I bet that's what where you'll find the key to unlock that door. But first, a shooting dragon. We don't really need to use life, but... I'd rather, you know, face the challenges ahead with as much health as we can. Well, because looky looky. Oh, nope, it's one of our old friends. But he was in a bad spot. We took advantage of him pretty easily. <laughs> now we're the ones in the bad spot. Oh. And looky, looky, you were right. Alright, well, this part of the dungeon has been explored. But yeah, I'm almost positive you need the the glove to get through Death Mountain. Well, we'll find out shortly. Although we're a little past the half hour mark at this point. So I think what we'll do is we'll try to finish this uh, palace. Then we'll call it an episode. Well, yeah, yeah, this is, of course, assuming <laughs> that I can finish the palace. <laughs> But yeah, Death Mountain, yeah, it may not have be a palace, but you're you're gonna need to devote an episode to that. <laughs> ah. Nope, you're not gonna get me with that trick. Nope, not enough magic. No, you need like one more. Well, maybe we'll get one more. There are a bunch of slimes around here. Oh. Nope. Could really use that life, too. Someday I'll learn not to keep doing that. An interesting thing about the dragon heads, if they're unlike Medusa heads, if you do manage to kill enough of them, they don't respawn. Oh, is that the case? Yes. <laughs> well, I'll have to remember that later. There's actually like four of them that constantly, three or four that constantly cycle through any screen. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, watch those jumps. And watch those slimes. Do not make a jump unless they're well off screen. Alright, well, all those dark knots that we killed 
are now back. Yeah, including this so one. We'll fight our way through them. So this is an orange one, so you should be okay. You only should take a couple hits. And you know what? More XP. Yeah, so... Whew. And... Use your... Yeah, <laughs> use your life spell. <laughs> Now's the time. Thought I could duck under him. I was wrong. Alright, now we've checked... We checked right. There was a wall over here. Hmm. Left is the way we want to yes. go. Yes, left shall lead to... Oh, might as well. Hell, yeah, when it rains, it pours. Get the gauntlet since you need that. Hmm. I think the boss right, probably isn't too far away. I was hoping to do that without getting hit. I was clearly asking for too much. Yep, I want to get that shield spell ready. Hmm. Yes, sir. Now, is that going to stay there, uh, or is that eventually going to go away? I think it'll stay as long as you stay on this screen. I got it, so as long as it doesn't scroll yeah. off. That should be easy enough, considering i got to sit here and play with this knight. There we go. Take that, thank you. Alright, one more to go. Just leave you behind. Ah, can't hide behind locked doors this time. All right, you just gotta beat him, Green. You'll, and you'll get the gauntlet and level up. Those are two rewards that make it worthwhile. Just watch his wind-ups. Yeah, I'm not so bad blocking when he goes Aha! high. He goes low, though. And life goes up. Next level, you'll get an attack up. Alright, now we have the mitt, which lets us uh, smash blocks. We'll get a chance to use that. We can smash these blocks that fall on us here, but honestly, we're just better off running. Yeah. <laughs> now, I wonder how much XP we're going to rack up before we get to the boss. Probably not enough to get close to another level. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, these annoying yeah, guys. Yeah, I think, I think they're this uh, game's pose. <laughs> well, there are uh, graveyards and stuff we'll find a little later. And don't those guys float around yeah. in them? Usually invisibly. <laughs> Alright, well that wasn't too bad. Yeah, let's stay away from that Poe. Or the Poe equivalent. Now, if I remember correctly, some of these statues are going to start shooting. Yeah, I think that's these statues. You can block the shots with your shield, but it's, it's yeah, it's hard. Because it's got to hit your shield. <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. And the enemies start attacking us yeah, too. Luckily, just stout bows. Actually, you know what? Let's throw up the shield. Just to be safe. Let's heal ourselves and back to full magic. Woohoo! That's luck right there. If I kind of do a little jump, that, that uh, I guess, lion head, tiger head? Yeah, lion, tiger, hard to tell. Mm -hmm. Bears. Oh my. No bears. Let's see what's over this way before we go downstairs. You. Don't like you guys. <laughs> no XP. I don't like... I don't like any enemy that doesn't give me 
It doesn't have the decency to give me XP. I have a feeling there's a key over here that you'll need for the boss. <laughs> oh. But there's not just a key. There's a statue. But this one does not have a potion <laughs> in it. Bugger. I was about to say, <laughs> test the statue before you use life, but... <laughs> well, <laughs> you're right, I should have done that. But hopefully the boss is just down here. I'm sure there'll be one or two enemies blocking the door to him first. <laughs> Because this is Zelda 2. <laughs> and that's how it rolls. <laughs> well, that just means we have more chance to get our magic back. Actually, Ooh, okay. actually before this you do a... this... Oh, I was going to say try to hit before... that dragon head that was in the other room. See if it... Uh, did... You think I can... Think I can hit it? Maybe if I cast jump? Oh, it's not worth jump. Don't even try. <laughs> Now, if I'm quick, I might be able to get that bag. It's much easier. I'm quick. It's much easier to get that once you have the downward strike. <laughs> oh boy. All right, I can do this. We got this. Just watch those windups. Yeah, those low ones are the ones that always get me. I should not have tried to walk away from the attack. I should have blocked low. Clash of Ages. Whew. Though for once, it would have been better if he gave you a magic thing. <laughs> Would have been nice. And there's that door. Alright, I think this is the only dark knot between you and the boss. Well, I would like that, but I would not be surprised in the least if a red one is waiting for me right now. No, I wouldn't be surprised either. This is Zelda 2 after all. <laughs> now, let's put up the shield. We can't even shoot our sword with power at him. Oof. Go, oh, yeah. Oh, there, you see? I knew it. I'm gonna be real upset if this guy takes me out. Those low attacks? Think you need the life spell. <laughs> okay, now okay, don't let up on this guy. He once you knock his first head off, if and the second, you have got to keep hitting him, or else those heads will make your life horrible. You want to kill this guy as quick as possible. Ah. And Ganon is alive again. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's... You know what? I'm just gonna skip ahead from here back to that boss. So I will see you guys all in a minute. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're back. So, you know what? Let's throw up a shield. Um, should I even bother with jump? No, no. I think so. Just... Get those... Wait, each hit is actually taking one of his life... Uh, Bars. Yeah, that level up really helped. And there we go. Yeah, good riddance. Grab our key. Alright. And let's restore our second crystal. Yep. And get another, and level, another level. 
So what's this one? Life? Yeah, this should be life. Oh, magic. Uh, no, it's magic. Life is next. Yep, magic right. and I'll take every level up magic I can get. and life are at five. Attack is at four. So you're a little over halfway to max level. Okay, but uh, that was a long one, so I think we're going to call it an episode here. When we get together next time, what do you say we challenge Death Mountain? Should be a fun one, everyone. And by fun, I mean All right. horrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you then. See you, everyone. And so, fraught with humiliation and horror, Link walked to the water's edge and let his worries cease to be in Hyrule's apparently horribly acidic waters. <laughs>